Uh, if you think that you have accomplished something in your teenage years, wait until you hear her story. As a matter of fact, we're going to let her tell her story right now because she's just 17 years old. Are you 17 now or are you still 16? I'm 17 right now. Okay, you're 17 right now. Uh, and about to get the master's degree and head off to work on her PhD, all while still in high school. Congratulations. That's an amazing Thank story. You. Stephanie Moy is with us this morning. Hello. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. How about you? I'm doing well, thank you. A um, little nervous? Yeah, a little Feel, bit. Look, just <laughs> relax because we feel nervous in your presence. You have just done so much at a young age. Um, when did you realize, I really have a love for math? Well, um, I was about... Well, in first grade, and I started debating geometry proofs with my dad. Wow. Um, I found that pretty fun. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's kind of when I realized. And just kept going. And then started taking classes, did I say, after, like, fifth grade at, uh, the, at Nova at a community college? Yes, yes. And just took off from there. Uh -huh. All right. So then at what point did you actually start get your undergraduate degree? Um, so when I started realizing that I wanted to do math as an undergrad was when I graduated from Nova um, in 2014. At 13 years old, right? Yes. Was it 13? <laughs> okay. And then I came into GMU in the spring, I believe, in, of 2015. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've just been working for, to, towards a math degree ever since then. So I heard that one concern that you had, though, when you went to George Mason uh, as a teenager, is that you were worried that people might treat you differently if they actually found out how old you were, right? Yes. So did you not tell people how old you were? What did you do? Um, I didn't try to hide it. I just never brought it up. Right. So, you know, but if people ask, I, I tell them. Right. Yeah. And the thing that's interesting, because when, when we saw this story and you're graduating with a master's, you thought, well, what about high school? Did that happen? But you were going, you're doing both this at the same time. You graduate from high school next month. Yes. How, well, I mean, how do you even split up your day? Like, so what's a typical day for you? Well, this year I'm not taking any classes at Oakton. Okay. Um, right now I'm just at home um, doing an online English class. Got it. Uh, that's the last class I need before I graduate. Okay. So All right. And you've managed to still hang with some friends from Oakton from now and again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How important is that for you to, to maintain, you know, just being a teenager? Oh, yeah, it's very important. Yeah, I try my best to always have some free time on the weekends right. or, you know, whenever to just keep in touch with all my friends. I mean, in a way, it, there's still that sense of, I hate to use the word normalcy, but what <laughs> most 17-year-olds will be going through right. getting ready to graduate from high school um, because you will still be finishing up high school and you will be going off to college. Mm -hmm. It's just you'll be going off to college already with a master's degree, going getting ready to, get, to work on a PhD, a PhD at NYU, right? Yeah. Uh, Why did you decide to go that route now for the next step? Um, well, basically, I actually never didn't know I was going to be a math major until pretty recently, I'd say about a year ago. Um, since both of my parents are engineers, I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to also follow their path and be an engineer uh, initially. Yeah. But after just joining my lab, uh, the Mason Experimental Geometry Lab uh, at George Mason, I realized that I really loved mathematical research. So that's kind of when I decided to just do math, uh, you know, pursue math PhD. Right. Do you know, I'm just watching. Are you watching the Einstein special on National Geographic by any chance? I'm not. Okay. Well, it's like the same story. His parents wanted him to go a as different a young, field. As a yes, person. and he he had this love for this different field, of course, which led to all this amazing um, research. So, what do you want to end up doing when you're 30 years old? What will your career be? Well, as of now, I'm not completely sure yet, since mm -hmm. it's still pretty early, but I'd like to do something involving research, whether it's an industry or academia, I don't really know. Okay. Um, it depends on what opportunities are out there after I graduate from NYU. Speaking of Einstein, um, I think it's called genius. You don't want to be called that. No. <laughs> okay, why? What's wrong with the word? Is it, is it a label you try to avoid, or what's wrong with the word genius? I definitely do not consider myself a genius. Um, you know, I haven't done anything super huge yet. Mm. Um, and also, you know, this whole thing, this whole 17-year-old uh, master's graduate, um, it all followed naturally just from working hard. I started early, you know. Well, you're very modest about that, and you credit it a lot to just old-fashioned hard work. But also, yeah. you have to be so focused to be able to get this done, too. Is that hard to stay that focused for so long on this path? Not really. Um, I really like math. So, you know, just focusing on something you're passionate about, I find is pretty easy. What's hard to you? <laughs> um, well, you know, things like history, I guess, English, okay. you know, something that's not really technical. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't want to brag on my partner here, but Steve was a math major in college. Yep. And I want to set the record straight. <laughs> By was means for like a year and then, and then switch to something different. Right. So.
Um, yeah, so they, they give me a hard time all the time. But my math skills are yeah. limited to very basic math skills. Okay. Well, I left the calculus back in the day. What is, is geometry the subject within math that you love the most? Is it geometry? Geometry and topology. Okay. Yeah. I haven't even ever heard of the second subject, so now I'm going to let you handle this second part. Uh, no, I believe I'm going to step away from this at this point. Oh, is that right? Okay. Here's, here's what we wanted to do. All right, initially they said, <laughs> okay, let's, let's throw some questions up and let's see if you can handle it. And then we looked at it and we were like, of course right. you can handle this. But when you first see any type of equation formula, and this is pretty basic algebra here. This is not anything that's over the top. Um, when you first see this, it, I think the mind looks at it in different ways. Some people see this and they think, I, don't, I just don't get it. I don't get math. I don't get anything that's on the screen. What's the first thing that you think when you see something like this pop up on the screen? Is it well, a challenge? Is it just like I have to solve this? Is it because math is factual? What, do you, what comes to your mind? Um, usually when I look at any problem, I see it as just a challenge, kind of like a puzzle mm -hmm. that I have to solve. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, because I, I'll be honest, like, um, math was frightening to me. If I couldn't get the answer, then I was embarrassed with raising my hand or whatever. What's the message, though, to other people? I'm going to be honest, especially girls who might look at math and say, ah, you know, that's not for me. What do you want to say to people who shy away from math? Oh, yeah, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You know, mistakes is, are the way you learn. I've definitely made a lot of mistakes along the way um, to here. So, yeah, definitely do not be afraid. Well, we're super proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that right now. When you head off to New York to get that Ph.D., know that um, the area, particularly northern Virginia, is behind you. And when you're back yeah. in a couple months after you've already gotten it, because it won't take you that long, <laughs> then stop by and see us again, and we'll see what the next step is. Because at this pace, I mean, you're going to outsmart all your instructors in no time at all. So um, looking forward to see where that path takes you in life. Stephanie Moore, thank you. Thank and congratulations. You. Have a good time at your high school and uh, master's, excuse me, yeah, master's degree graduations this month and next month. Thanks Great for coming in to see us. Thanks, Stephanie.